Hi, this is Sophie. In this video, you will see that it's not always necessary to have lots of face painting colors and tools to create some nice designs. I actually created this tiger mask with only one split cake, a little bit of black, a half sponge and a brush. If you don't have a split cake or rainbow cake like this one, you can either buy it online and I will put a list of shops in the description box below or you can click on the link appearing right now and learn in another one of my videos how to make it yourself. It's really simple. The first step is to load the sponge with the red, yellows and white and I suggest lifting the sponge a little bit above the gray so you don't pick up this color to begin with. I showed in a previous video how to load the sponge on a split cake, so feel free to click on the link in case you're interested. Once the sponge is loaded with these colors, I place it between the eyebrows and I tap it on the skin to create a slightly rounded shape over this area. I go back and forth as often as necessary until all the colors have been transferred properly. I then tilt it slightly over the eye area and I do the same thing. I press and I tap until all the colors have been transferred, pressing a little bit harder over the area of the sponge where the red is so that the outer edges are nicely defined. I now do the same thing on the other side and then I flip my sponge over where the white is and I smooth this color out towards the inside of the mask. After reloading my sponge with more color from my split cake, I place it over the cheek area and I transfer the colors there in a sort of triangular shape. And then you've guessed it, I do the same thing on the other side, making sure that both sides are quite symmetrical. If you notice that one side is a little bit bigger than the other one, you can always correct that using a wet wipe. Afterwards, I flip my sponge once again towards the white and I connect this color towards the center of the mask as well as over the nose. I am now taking another clean half sponge to pick up only the white color with its tip to make the muzzle area of the tiger, which is the area between the upper lip and the nose that I cover in a thick layer. This next step is optional, so feel free to skip it if you want to, but if you have a medium-sized chisel brush like this one, you can use it to pick up only the gray and the white colors from your split cake and use those to frame the muzzle area, um, which will add more dimension to it, but make sure that the gray color is placed towards the outside. As I mentioned in the beginning, I'm also using some black for this mask that I loaded on a small round brush number three. And I will use it first to frame the top of the mask as well as the ears on each side. I then trace a half circle on each ear to make them a little bit more recognizable and interesting to look at. I will draw three stripes at the top. The first one is the longest and will be placed in the middle. It begins with a fairly long straight line that goes down all the way to the level of the eyebrows. I then add a triangular shape at its base that I fill out in black to make a nice connection to the edge of the mask. I follow this by two much smaller stripes on each side pointing towards the inside. For an elegant tiger look, I will add some eyeliner. Make sure, however, that your model can keep her eyes closed as long as the makeup is still wet. Otherwise, it will transfer on the eyelid and this will be kind of difficult to fix. You can then extend the line a little bit along the bridge of the nose on the inside eye corner. Once the top liner is dry, ask your model to look up to the sky and to stay in this position for as long as possible. Then quickly draw a line under the eye, connecting it all together. If I was face painting a boy or if the child was very young, I probably would skip this step. I then follow by framing the rest of the mask with a thin line. I then add three stripes on each side in the same style as the ones I did before. The first one is the longest and um, follows the shape of the eye. The other two are smaller, but all three stripes are pointing towards the inside corner of the eye. Time now to frame the muzzle area. If you want to add some small pointy teeth at the corner of the mouth, now would be a good time to do so. I now um, cover the area under the nose in black that I follow with a straight, thin vertical line going down all the way to the upper lip. I now cover the upper lip in black, connecting it on each side to my other black lines. I then make three rows of dots on each side 
within the muzzle area and I make sure that they decrease in size as I go towards the inside. And I do this by putting less pressure on my brush to make the dots smaller. After framing the bottom lip with a thin black line, I rinse my brush really well and I use it to grab some red from my split cake. I then color what is still visible from the lips. I rinse my brush once again and this time I get some white from my split cake. I use it to color the little teeth and to add the illusion of hair inside of each ear. Now you could add some glitter if you wanted to. I hope that you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Thank you very much for your support. I wish you a great day and see you next time. Bye!